Hello everybody, Jordan here, the PH is silent. Today we are going to discuss Devils and the Nine Hells. The Nine Hells is a plane of existence in the Astral Sea divided up into nine layers or circles that exist on top of one another. It's home to Devils, which are lawful evil fiends, not to be confused with the chaotic evil demons, as the two hate each other and often fight. The bottom layer of hell, the ninth layer, rules over the rest. So to sit on the throne is to rule the nine hells entirely, each level answering to the one below it. The nine hells vary greatly and are often not what you would think or expect. Through the nine hells runs the river Styx, which this was changed to a river of blood in 3.5 that connected many of the fiendish planes like the abyss, etc. But after the spell plague, it was now referred to again as the river Styx, which flowed through the abyss and the Nine Hells before dumping its pollution into the Astral Sea. One could navigate the River Styx to descend deep into the lower levels of the Nine Hells. Devils came about before the creation of the Prime Material Plane. The demons existed before the gods when chaos reigned. The deities brought law and order to the universe, but it was contested by the demons. The gods soon realized that the army of demons might be infinite, and they were weary of battle, so they created beautiful winged warriors to serve them and wield their divine magic, and these beings were called angels. The bravest, toughest, fiercest, and most beautiful of the angels was Asmodeus. As Asmodeus and the angels battled the demons, they gradually began to take on some of their enemies' traits. Their beauty turned to ugliness, and the deities and other angels began to fear them. They wanted them to leave, but Asmodeus and his minions were operating within the law, so they were allowed to stay. Eventually, the gods created mortals in the prime material plane, but were astonished to find out that mortals, who were given free will, did not always follow the deities' laws. Asmodeus came to the gods and said that a punishment must be put in place so mortals have consequence for not following the laws. The gods agreed but didn't want souls to be punished in their realms, so Asmodeus proposed a pact which became known as the Pact Primeval. He would move his soul punishments to another area known as Hell, away from the deities, but it, in turn he would be allowed to draw magic from these souls to fuel his spells and maintain his minions' powers. Now the other option for the gods was to make Asmodeus a deity, which they did not want to do, so they agreed to the pact. The Nine Hells was formed and Asmodeus created other devils using the magic he acquired from tormented souls. The gods were upset when they found out that Asmodeus and his kin were influencing mortals to increase the number of souls brought to hell, but Asmodeus said, reread the pact that you signed and pay close attention to the fine print. At the top, the first layer of hell is called Avernus. Avernus was a desolate wasteland with rocky terrain, sparse, twisted vegetation, concealed snake pits, caves, volcanoes, and rivers of magma. The sky was full of choking smoke and would glow dark red due to balls of flammable gas. Avernus was ruled by the archdevil Bel, the warlord, who climbed his way to the top. Starting as a pit fiend, he went through the process of diabolical promotion until he was recognized by Asmodeus as archdevil of Avernus. The second layer of hell is known as Dis, a dark barren place containing stagnant rivers and a cloudy, dull green sky. The center of Dis is the Iron City, and it is ruled by our next lord of hell, Dispater, the Iron Duke. He lives in a tower in the Iron City and appears humanoid with an above average height and dark hair with tiny horns. His touch instantly corrodes metal and can convert flesh into iron. A favorite tactic of his in combat is to transform an opponent into an iron statue and then rust them to dust. Minaris is the third layer and was described as an endless bog of vile pollution. Full of decaying bodies, it's a rotten marsh drenched by rain, a nasty disease-filled swamp. Lord of the third is Mammon the Viscount. He rules in the center city of Minaris. The archdevil resembles a 30-foot-long serpent with a humanoid head, arms, and torso. He is a patron of greed and lust, and often temples are erected in his honor. The fourth layer of the Nine Hells is Phlegethos, and resembles a fiery world with volcanoes, rivers of magma, ash hills, smoking pits, and unbearable heat. Kind of what you think hell would look like. In the main city is a palace of jagged obsidian. This layer has two rulers, Lady Fierna and Archduke Belial. They resemble devilish-looking humanoids. 
Stygia is the fifth layer of hell and is the complete opposite of the fourth. It's a bottomless ocean covered by a giant ice sheet. Well, it might not be bottomless, but nobody really knows for sure. The river Styx cuts across the ice, forming a channel. There are a few floating islands of non-frozen ground upon which the, the city of Tantlin was built. Lightning arcs across the sky, but if it touches the ground, a phenomenon called cold fire erupts. Prince Levistus is Lord of the Fifth. He is a six-foot-tall humanoid with very pale skin, dark hair, and a goatee. Malbulge, the sixth layer of hell, full of angular black stone blocks. Each block ranges in size from a small city to a large metropolis. Non-flying travelers need some serious mountaineering skills um, or risk avalanches. Stinking clouds of vapor rise from the depths and light the sky with the color of blood. Glacia, the daughter of Asmodeus, is the current lord of the sixth. The former ruler, the Hag Countess, was transformed somehow. One morning, the Hag Countess had terrible spasms and was absorbed by the earth and transformed. Her fingers became ten white towers, her hair turned into white trees, her skull ballooned to the size of a vast fortress. After this, Glacia descended and became the new ruler of the sixth. The seventh layer of hell is known as Melodomini and is ruled by Beelzebul, the slug archduke. Melodomini is full of ruins, stagnant rivers, empty mines and quarries, and decaying fortresses. There are black pools of ichor that erupt from the ground and swarm of biting flies. Beelzebul is a melted slug-like creature, an appearance that is a punishment from Asmodeus, a mammoth slug trapped forever in a layer of garbage and filth. Kania is the eighth level of hell, a bitterly cold realm of solid ice, mountains, and fast-moving glaciers with nearly continuous snowfall. There is a blue-white citadel on the horizon known as Mephestar, where the Lord of the Eight rules, Mephistopheles. He's a nine-foot-tall humanoid with red skin, horns, and wings. He's constantly plotting a way to take out Asmodeus and become ruler of the Nine Hells. The final and ninth layer of hell is known as Nessus. It is a torn, blasted landscape with many of the extremes that we saw earlier. Frigid cold, huge volcanoes, lakes of ice, and flaming forests. Almost a vertical maze, the deeper you go, you'll eventually run into the mighty fortress of Asmodeus. Asmodeus himself stands 13 feet tall with black hair, dark skin, a black goatee, and eyes of flame. Asmodeus is working to make the realms lawful. During the spell plague, Azuth, the deity, was flung from Dwemerhart into the Nine Hells, and there he was captured and devoured by Asmodeus, who stole Azutha's divinity. Asmodeus, now a god, hurled the abyss into the elemental chaos and thus has put a hold on the never-ending blood war. And that's it. All Nine Hells, that's it for today. Next week, I'll tackle the somewhat convoluted subject of demons and the abyss. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking and subscribing and sharing with a friend. And I will see you all in the next video.